interfering. Damn. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. Let's see if I can fix it. In the meantime, just keep doing...
you there? You've got to hurry. You really pissed them off. Their leader's setting charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. Get away from there! Don't shoot, please! No! <sighs> Shutting down the torches. I won't ask you again. Find this problem and deal with it. Get out of here!
Hold it right there, this doesn't have to end in bloodshed! Hold it right there, this doesn't have to end in bloodshed! Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I've got nothing to say to a Batarian terrorist. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are gonna die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Maybe you should take your men and go, before you get hurt. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. You keep listening to this Bollock and you'll end up dead. <sighs> Maybe. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Bollock wants you dead. And what Bollock wants, Bollock gets. I can't change that. Spoken like a true lackey. You get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Or, you can take your chances with me. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sakes. Balak's a dead man. And if I ever see you in human territory again, so are you. Understand? Perfectly. Alex, hold up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this rock. Hold it right there, this doesn't have to end in bloodshed!
more trouble than you're worth. I'm just getting started. Predictable, but this is over. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. You don't get to leave, Balak. Not after what you've done. What I've done? This is nothing compared to what's been done to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile. Forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Don't make it sound like you're the innocent party here. You brought it upon yourselves. Really? You invaded our space, took our resources, and when we asked the Council for aid, they brushed us off. We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. How does killing innocent people make up for that? I could ask you the same thing. How many innocent Batarians died at Torfin? Oh, or had you forgotten about that? Torfin was retaliation for your attack on Elysium. You pushed, we pushed back. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, 
I suggest you step aside. I'm not letting a terrorist like you go free. Do what you want with the others, but it'll be the last thing you do. I hope this is worth it! I'm gonna enjoy gutting you. You're no better than us. I gave you a chance to save them and you threw it away. <laughs> Who's the real terrorist here? <laughs> You'll have to do better than that if you want to stop us. <laughs> One day soon, the human race is going to pay for what it's done. Killing me will make a difference. The Batarians have stayed hidden long enough. We won't be ignored. Not anymore. There are thousands more like me waiting their turn, each one willing to die for our cause. <laughs> what? What do you want? Details? It doesn't matter. <gasps> it's too late for you. When the fits flash with images of your colonies in flames, you'll know the Batarian Rebellion has begun. <laughs> Who's your leader? Who's orchestrating all this? <laughs> I'm through talking. Just kill me. Get it over with. Killing you is too much of a mercy. You can die. Slowly. <coughs> this isn't over! <coughs> this is just the beginning for the Batarian Nation! <coughs> is it safe? You're standing in the open. You haven't been shot. What do you think? I... There might have been something I could have done to help. I thought I should be here. I know this asteroid better than anyone. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city, the most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Have you found Katie and her team? Balak murdered Katie and the others. Blew them up with a bomb. All of them? Katie? And her brother? Everyone? How could this happen? I thought you were... Couldn't you save them? You need to understand something. Not everyone out here in the big bad galaxy likes humans. It's not safe. Some days the bad guys are gonna win. You ask me? The good guys made out pretty well today. So this son of a bitch, this Balak, you're letting him bleed to death? I think he deserves a slow death. If anyone asks me, he was dead when I got here. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. That Omni tool of yours looks handy and expensive. Your gratitude go that far? How could I say no to the man who saved my home and family? I hope you get good use out of it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers? 
Have you found them? I found two of them. They didn't make it. I... I see. Well, maybe the last is still out there. Could you please keep looking? Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you.
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Admiral, I'm on urgent business with the Citadel. Is there something you need? Let's get one thing clear, Shepard. You might be a specter to the aliens, but to me, you're just another junior officer. Be respectful. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I wasn't keen on it either, but there are advantages to being above the law. Don't let the title go to your head. No one's above the law. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. This ship saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Normandy is an Alliance warship, but she's on loan to the Citadel. That means she's not in your chain of command. I believe there's something wrong with my ears. Did you just contradict me? This ship is Council property right now. So, respectfully, please clear the gangway. Have it your way, Commander. But expect me to file a report on this. Exogeny officials have announced that their research colony on Pharos is being shut down. Difficult living conditions combined with poor yield of viable discoveries made it economically unfeasible to keep the colony going. Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Commander Shepard? Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? I'm not in the mood, Miss Al Jalani. People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? I don't have time to justify myself to your viewers. I have a galaxy to save. Excuse me. Your choice, Shepard. Commander Shepard? Kalisa bin Sin in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the Council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the Council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's gratifying. Many defeatist officers claim that the Alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel?
Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform. And if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? I made that call to save myself, my crew, and the inhabitants of Novaria. And I'd do it again. It's gratifying to see someone who'll make tough choices to protect the lives of humans. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Ever read Machiavelli? He believed it's better to be feared than loved. We build a few dozen more dreadnoughts I guarantee will be respected. I hope they remember that when they pass the next defense budget. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? I've had enough of your snide insinuations. You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over! Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Nothing I intend to share with the press. These are for an official investigation. I'm sorry you feel that way, Commander. I'd hoped you'd see the benefit of working with the press. I won't trouble you any further. Word on the street. I was sure he was a big player in anything These going These OSDs on. might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. I had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than you're offering. I didn't tell you to kill Fist, but you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so... Here, this should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Thank <laughs> you. 
sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Get to the point. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. You can't stop her from making stupid mistakes. This stupid mistake might cost her her life. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> See another human. You were too busy to talk last time, but that's not a problem. I know you're busy being the first human specter and all. I don't have time for this crap. Go back to whatever hole you crawled out of. So that's how it is? The rest of us should just let you reap the fame and glory? Well, you're not the only one who can stand up for humanity. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> 